So you know a great deal about me, and I know who you are. You're Leyland's right-hand man, his lackey, Cody, henchman. And you wear those gloves to keep the blood off your hands. I've read your dossier. You've lived a full life. Kuwait, South Africa, that oil refinery explosion in Moscow. It's like a concert tour with you. You can clear something up for me, Braco. Sure, you're a rich punk, but your dossier paints you a small time and local. You're a city boy, not a world traveler. I travel all the time. The world? I can go anywhere I want. Any city, any time. Yeah, but you working with Halbeck doesn't make sense to me. They've got standards. Halbeck? Who the fuck told you that? Maybe they wanted to keep you from getting killed. I read about your father. I thought I'd already cleared that up. I was curious why you wanted to talk in person. Telemarketing through the video screen seemed more your style. I understand you spoke with Stephen Heck upon arriving. That was a wise decision. The man can be... territorial. You know Heck? Ooh. That's not really your concern. Surkov told me that you had the Halbeck data records. That's what brought me here. Sergey? Surkov was the one dealing with Halbeck, not me! I know, he told me. He told you? At the time, you still didn't know what his role in all this was, did you? You mean... We'll get to that later. Any reason that intel from Shahid brought me here? I'd hate to think you were involved in any Halbeck business. Surprised you haven't figured it out yet, Marburg. I know your history. I know the United States left you out to dry. Deus Volt, all of it. <sighs> but it doesn't seem like you learned anything from it. You served Deus Volt blindly. Now you're answering to Leyland and Halbeck. Your point? Trading one master for another, Marburg? Seems to me blind loyalty is what got you here in the first place. That locket? It's not a childhood memento. Excuse me? The locket. It depicts St. George and the dragon. According to the legend, townsfolk fed their children to the dragon out of fear to prevent its wrath. Eventually, the king agreed to feed his own daughter to the beast. I'm not sure I like the implication, Agent Thornton. I wasn't aware there was one. I'm guessing only she knows how St. George factors in. But I'm wondering who G-22 is in the story, and who you are. I'm sure Sis could clear it up. If she wanted to tell us, that is. She can't. Can't? Or won't? She's a mute. Well, I'm surprised you found all the programs. Guess I wasn't as careful as I thought. It took a while to place all of them. Yes. The fifth was a tricky one. But by then, we knew what to look for. I'll delete those security exploits. They were a little obvious without some sort of backup. He was good. He found all five bugs in just a couple of hours. All five? I planted six. Very devious, Mr. Thornton. We're a double agent for how long? All my life. And is there any chance you're going to share this sweeping tale of honor and betrayal? I did have one question. When you were checking up on me shortly before we met, why didn't you use your work terminal in Rome? What? How do you know that? I was monitoring it. You used a temp employee's computer at your office. Why? It was a Halbeck contractor from Milan, working with the VCI. I thought using his computer would help hide what I was doing. Guess I messed that up. The contractor from Milan? Do you know who it was? I don't know. They let him go, though. Word was he was accessing files he didn't have clearance for. Do you know his name? I never even saw him. Only heard about what happened. Why? No reason. Just curious. You should get some sleep, Madison. <laughs>